Hello, welcome back to Battletech. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. I know you're looking out for me, bud. Appreciate you. Um, we're gonna just like do a co quick check, make sure everything's good. Um, also just to, you know, like there's a lot of different things you got to do between missions and I always forget what I have and have not done. Right, we, we, you know what we need? We need another mech, a bigger mech, uh, a larger mech. I know bigger and uh, larger, they might be synonyms to each other, but I think you'll agree they mean different things. Bigger and larger, you know, because you can get a mech that's like big, but then you can get a mech that's like large. And we want the latter. We want a large mech. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a contract and we're going to do do it for parts only. Um, these, these are off world. We could do an off world mission. That's 19 parts. Only one and a half stars. Badlands. That's kind of a bummer. Um, Badlands is, is, uh, tricky. We have a VIP base on the Kimi and we've just received a garbled transmission from a local agent that the base will be attacked. They're striking. Ah, I'm not a huge fan of, um, protecting bases missions. They can kind of suck. Um... You can find yourself in a situation where it's, you know, you can't really uh, succeed necessarily. I don't know. It's, it's tricky. What about this? Uh, there's one more, the B team. But we have to wait some time. Like, we're, we're kind of in a waiting game period right now. What about this one? 3 of 15, that's not bad. We have reliable information that remote local government laboratories uh, attempting to reverse engineer sensitive capellan technology in violation of the usage license. They have failed to respond to our communications that they cease and desist this unlawful operations. Therefore, we authorize you to execute the license termination clause upon that facility. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that it's, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's Nintendo right there. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna send some mechs to absolutely destroy the, you know, your house. You, you have been found to pirate, uh, Super Mario for the, for the Nintendo. And therefore, the, your, the penalty is death. Um, so, that doesn't seem like a bad one. Um, cease and desist, that's really funny. Let's do this one. Um, we're gonna go full parts. We're on pretty okay terms with the Capellan Confederation. Um, I guess I'd like some more. I don't know. I, I want some different missions. Let's just let's take this one and go. We want like I I've just I've I've felt a little bit. Um, crew is ready for the next job. They don't look ready. Out of action. Everyone's out of action. Um, I've felt like I've I've passed up some missed opportunities lately. We're just gonna go generous. I don't I don't think I can really afford extravagant anymore. And every time I do that, I, I seem to get you know, we we cut it too close. Um, I I really feel a little bit bad for missing on that thunderbolt or the wolverine or basically any of the mechs that would have been you know decent. Uh, order Medusa to practice while he recovers. As you're, uh, on your way to the med bay for an evaluation, you hear Medusa and Behemoth shouting, and then a loud metallic crash. Commander, Medusa calls as you enter. How nice of you to join us. He rises halfway out of bed, trailing a tangled rope of tubes and wires. The senior doctor turns on you, flushed and angry. Commander, your mech warriors refuse to follow the recovery regime. A regimen. Regimen. Uh, Behemoth... Lounges in a nearby chair. How come you're running around the ship? You're hurt too. Discipline the pilots and confine them to med bay. The company gains plus two medical um, point boost for seven days. Behemoth, I'm up and about because I have a mercenary company to run. Unlike you, my job isn't doesn't stop when I'm not in a mech. You turn to the doctor. You have permission to restrain pilots in their beds the next time that someone causes you trouble. Medusa's pro uh, protestations die in his throat as you turn on him. I know you feel like a god when you're in your mech, but when you're in here in the medbay, your god is right over there. You point at the doctor. 
I expect you to do everything that she and her staff have uh, asked you to do. If I hear otherwise, you may never get back into a mech again. Nice. That actually, uh, that does speed up um, recovery a little bit. I love these, um, like, I I'm not one for cutscenes. I'm not a huge fan. Um, like, I generally feel like um, most things that you can convey in a cutscene, you can convey in engine probably to the same effect, if not better, in, in a lot of ways. Like, dynamic cameras, yeah, I, I just don't know if they achieve the same thing. But I will say that the dynamic uh, kind of, like, camera work in, in um, Battletech, it does it for me. I appreciate it. We've arrived at Kimi, Commander. Uh, ready to proceed with our current contract? No. No, because I am still out of uh, out of action for three days. I wish it would stop the timeline when I have recovered. Launch contract. Our morale is almost full, and that is really nice to see. These mechs, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, when, when, when we find some suitable equipment to um, put in the blackjack, then we will we will use it. We will take it. We will we will equip it. I promise. I should um, I should check the store periodically, um, but like you know, I, what I think I like I know we're doing this mission for parts. I understand that. Um, I think what I'd like to do is raise our coffers to like a really comfortable amount, and then we can actually start doing things like buying things in the store. But also it means we can take missions for parts a lot more comfortably. So, that's kind of the plan. We're destroying a base for 50000 If we're really lucky, 50000 will just cover the, the repair costs. Um, if we're, you know, like, that's the worst case scenario. The best case scenario, or, or even like, you know, likely scenario is that we get some parts that pay the bills that are worth, um, you know, the job. And then best case scenario is we get some salvage from uh, mechs that are like, actually worth pursuing uh something like a wolverine or uh, a trebuchet or a thunderbolt um since there are so many different mechs in this game I, mean, I, I know someone's gonna come at me and say there's not really a lot of mechs in this game comparatively speaking to the absolute uh like treasure trove of mechs in battletech over like decades i understand that but i will say because there are uh, there's a relatively large pool of mechs that you can pull from. Um, it makes, you know, sometimes building a, 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 an actually good mech that you can that you can swap into your squad fairly difficult because you're only likely to get like one part, maybe two if you're really lucky. We got really unlucky in that there was actually three parts for the Thunderbolt in the last mission, and we didn't get any of them. <laughs> we didn't get. <laughs> any of them approach the base and destroy the designated buildings be wary of the base com uh, defenders and watch for any additional patrols in the area good hunting commander so i guess um you know no one no one really said anything and that's fine um you know like i i would i would prefer someone always throw a a nugget to the algorithm in the comments but uh you know you're not not a, not a requirement of course like you do what you want but um I didn't really hear any preference in terms of like how you'd like this series to go. Would you like, uh, you know, a compilation of some of the missions I do uh, that are not story based? So you know what, here oh we're God. going full Monty with this with this series, and I really enjoy it. I I enjoy I'm enjoying the series. I'm enjoying playing the game. Um, I'm enjoying some of the convergent uh narrative stuff that's going on like almost running out of money several times uh -huh. i think it's worthwhile i think it's you know it uh, is something this is content right right he he screams into the void this please <laughs> this is contra this is content please <laughs> you know um we have 235 tons ton max beh beh not not even worthy of our of our time and our energy and i do mean energy because i'm about to whip some at this oh panther i mean that's something i don't think i will build a panther i don't think it's even i, mean, I don't know i'll look at it if i end up building a panther i will look at it 
Okay, we hit it a couple times. It had some damage reduction. Oh, shoot. They're right there. Oh, there's a lot of them. What is that? That's another blackjack? Oh, heck yeah, bud. I'm, I'll build a blackjack. Give me a second. All right. Um, so what do we got? We got a blackjack. I wouldn't mind having a second blackjack. I don't know if it's better than Levi a Leviathan. I do like the blackjack. I feel like the blackjack is outliving its relevancy. relevancy. So maybe, eh, mm, I don't know. We've got a turret we got to watch out for as well. Let's uh, move over here. Uh, this guy's got damage reject, damage reduction. My, my mouth is making the bad words. It does that sometimes, you know. Kind of want to... Oh, okay, we can't jump that far. I would really like to jump in this water here. But I guess we only have short range missiles, so it's not a big deal. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they've got some really nice damage reduction going on. And... Uh, I guess that forest provides some pretty decent cover. Commander. Can we jump in the water? No, we can't. Dang. Okay, well, why don't we... I feel like it would just... It's its just going to be a good idea to um, try and take out one thing at a time. Probably something I've been um, doing poorly or not, not doing very optimally is... Uh, splitting a lot of my uh, firepower between several mechs you want to you want to really just kind of focus one thing at a time because one thing dead means one less gun firing back at you you know we don't have enough morale to do a precision shot yet so i'm just kind of like throwing everything at it something has um oh okay exposed that's not good so we gotta we gotta turn that blackjack around. Ooh, ooh, that's actually really nasty damage. Oh god, I'm actually worried the blackjack's gonna lose its left arm. Oh god, yeah, it's not good. Okay, we gotta we gotta do a we're gonna do a jump, and we're gonna turn right, or sorry, left, so that it's the right size side is exposed and then our, our armor is on the on uh you know our armor is correctly rotated you know um let's do a pre precision strike and uh i mean obviously i'm on the wrong side here that's the problem with turning doing a jump like that is now we are also hitting just the armor on this panther Ooh, those are some really good connects yes Yes. Excellent. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. We just lost our left arm. What was on there? Uh, I seem to have all my guns, so we're good. Let's just point forward here. Um, I really just want to take this thing out and we are, we have a really good angle here. Oh no. Okay. I'm liking this like little bay over here, point forward. And, um, like, unless they have long range missiles, which they could very well have. I know one of them has a PPC. There we go. Um, then they're gonna have to, you know, make some moves. Our Centurion is actually really good here. What is, uh, what is this? We've got some new markers here that I've never seen before. Oh, this is a bummer. I can't see them. All right, well, the Centurion's actually okay right now, so why don't we actually move them forward so that they can hit something? Let's do that Panther. No... God, okay. Can I hit that small military building? I can't hit anything yet. So we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, our line of sight is actually blocked on the uh, the panther. Oh, our line of sight is blocked on both of them. What? Is there... I don't know if there's an option to do arcing shots. I guess we're not close enough to do arcing shots. 
You know what? Let's just do... Um, kind of don't want to do a brace. I'm going to sensor lock this blackjack. It's a... Uh, I'd rather, like, set up a better attack in the future than waste, a, you know, doing a not great attack now. So we're in line of sight of that turret. That's a bummer. We got hit by that PPC. That's a bummer. Sensors impaired. That's not good. Uh, and since our Centurion is the only thing in line of sight, it's going to be taking everything, which is not also brutal. But we can... Oh, we have a Jenner. Jenner is good. What's the weight on a Jenner? We don't have line of sight on it. Hmm. Um. Okay, that's not bad right there. That would be... Wait right there i want to i want to continue being in the water that means i can like hit them every single turn and we're actually like losing heat right now because of the water um see what we can do with the jenner where is it like does it have some weak armor somewhere center torso actually has some pretty weak armor um we could try and we have like srm ammo in the right torso Right torso is 50%. Let's go for the right torso. Some good hits right there. Structure exposed. The Centurion is exposed. Not good. And they they, they took an injury. Okay, going to continue... Wait... What, what part is knocked off? The left arm. Yeah, so we want to, like... I, I guess we just want to face forward slightly with uh, with a slight um, bias towards our right side with the, uh, the, the, the Shadow Hawk. I'm going to try and um, take out the Jenner. Nice hits. Nice hits. We blew hit. something off, but we didn't destroy it. Can we hit anything from here? We can hit the gen and the blackjack, and we actually have some pretty solid hits. So let's go ahead and just start hitting the blackjack. Is it, can we can't hit the other. No, we can't. Okay. The blackjack. Ooh, heat sink destroyed. Well, I think I hit something good. you didn't really. Oh, we're gonna have to back up with the centurion. And I'm actually cool with our with a bias on our left side because our right torso is exposed. So we, we're looking at 40 and 50 percent. Not great odds. Let's go for the 50. We don't have a. There's a good chance we might destroy it. Unsteady. That's the bummer. Is like always that we get to unsteady. Because um, we, we want to knock it over. We don't want it to be unsteady. We want to knock it over. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. This is brutal. These missions are getting tough. Standing by. Okay, what can we hit? 25, 20. What are these odds? Is it because our, is our sensor, like, entrenched? water i don't know what's going why why are um odds of hitting things are so low right now 70 percent. okay if i back up i have a 70 percent chance of hitting that jenner so let's do that that's decent nice okay that's one. Oh god please don't okay that's not bad. Oh, uh, we did take a little bit of internal damage, but My internals are taking a beating. nothing we can't handle. Uh, maybe, hopefully. 80% <laughs> chance on that blackjack. That's decent. And we can do a precision shot, too. We have uh, kind of our pick here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's go for that right torso. Got it. Nice. Uh, well, not great. You know, heat sink is it's fine it's something but it's not really what we want okay we're gonna do another jump 
I am still uh, in, uh, appreciating this bay right now. We're gonna do another precision shot at this blackjack, trying to take out the blackjack. Ooh, we could take out the left arm, but I'm kind of appreciating maybe hitting this. Oh, that's where all the heat sinks are. That's why we keep hitting heat sinks. Maybe it would be better to just hit the arm. Let's just hit the arm because I don't think I can kill this thing right now. But if we blow off the arm, we blow off like half of its weaponry. There we go. We hit a, we blew off both arms. Yo. Yes. Okay, if we this is actually a really good shot because we're in the water. We have 85% chance with everything. Do it. Nice. Sensor lock on the Shadow Hawk. Miss, miss, miss. That's what, what you want to see. The Panther is going to be a problem. Oh. That PPC hits hard. Mm, this thing. Okay, we can get pretty close. We can actually hit it with everything here. Can we do. Yeah, we can do a precision shot. I should have taken out that turret. When I could have. Okay, where's the PPC? It's on the on the on the right arm. So let's try and hit that right torso. What do we got in the right torso? Nothing. Okay, we're just gonna hit the right torso. Yes. Okay, we don't have to worry about the PPC anymore. Why do we have such a crappy odds with the glitch right now? We've only got um, a 50% chance of hitting. Do we want to just like move up closer? I guess so. Commander? We've got 60% chance here. Yeah, let's just uh, move up and try and take it out. This is a great angle. Um, we will likely take it out here. And that torso is almost done. Done. Done and dusted. Okay. Um, the Vindicator has like full armor. So let's just do a big old jump over here and try and kill that turret. It's a light sniper turret. I didn't think oh we did take it out my goodness we're getting some nice lucky shots here now um unfortunately i can't hit anything with the centurion so i'm just gonna run up as much as you know much as possible generate some evasion so we took some hits um glitch lost their left arm but they didn't really have anything on their left arm so we didn't lose anything important um we got it got kind of dicey i won't lie uh, let's try and move up with the ind the Vindicator. <clears throat> if we have line of sight with someone, that means the Centurion can attack. Firing. I'm heavy damage to an enemy structure. Oh, there's two more turrets over there. Did not realize. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's actually quite a few turrets over there. Do they have a... Turret... Generator? I'm not seeing one. So I think we just it might be a good idea to just try and destroy some buildings. Uh, this so we're doing 40 damage if we hit with everything. So what does this thing have? Oh yeah, we can destroy that thing. Wow. Glitch cannot hit with basically anything right now. So I'm just gonna have her like run up forward, generate some evasion in the forest. Can't hit anything with blackjack. Let's do a jump forward again, generate some evasion, destroy that building in the center there. If we just destroy the three buildings, then we don't have to worry about all of those turrets in theory. Maybe. I'm a little bit worried about these turrets, I won't lie. Okay, cool. We're actually fine. We're, we must be out of range on them.
Okay, smack that thing. Smack it hard. Yes. Yes. Get to the evac zone. Why are we doing an evac zone? Why is the evac zone so far away and past all of the turrets? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um, I, I think if we take out all the turrets, then we don't have to do the evac zone. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. Like, why? Like, did you guys not research a better location for the evac? I'm gonna run over here. I think our right side is good. Let's just take out these turrets. Good, that's one done. That turret is gone. Decker, uh, Centurion's got some great shots here. Light Shredder. Oh, it's a flamer. It had a flamethrower. It's another one done. So I think if we take out that last turret, turret destroyed. then um, the mission will just end. I'm hoping that that is the case. Done. One left successful. Not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit uh, expensive with that arm replacement, but um, you know I'm happy so long as um, we didn't lose any like weapons and stuff. I'm a little bit. I have to say I'm a little bit worried about putting that triple plus gun on the uh, Centurion. We did get a little bit of an extra payout because uh, we we overachieved. I believe that. Uh, yeah, okay. Hidden objective. Destroy base turrets. I didn't realize there were hidden objectives. That's actually good to know. Uh, everything needs repairs. Um, but only Decker needs some, uh, injuries tended to. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We could take the Jenner. These are all 35 ton mechs. And, and those are basically breaking even. <laughs> Is there anything else we could take? Look at all the freaking jump jets. Jesus. Oh my god. Well, okay, here's the deal is we could take the Jenner. We'll take two Panthers and a Jenner. Um, we get to build a Jenner and maybe it's good. I mean, the nice thing about having a spare mech like that is that if it is on par with our current uh, squad, then um, when fully equipped, if uh, a mech is damaged, and is out of commission, that means we can still take a mission um, because we have a spare mech. So there is a genuine benefit to having it. I would like to, um, you know, upgrade our squad and not just like move, you know, in a, in a forward direction. But I mean, it's not nothing. Maybe we'll make the, uh, I wouldn't mind make, making the Jenner maybe an auto cannon um, mech. Lady Arano's contract to liberate House Decimus is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think you're re we're, re we're ready. So that's the next story mission. I don't think we are ready yet. Uh, ready? Renny? <laughs> Jenner D's run hot and they run fast, but can quickly bound into combat to deliver a knockout punch. Even against heavier units, their c capability with speed and weaponry tends to come at the expense of lower armor capacity, though. That's a little bit scary. Mech repairs before our next... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. So let's have a quick look at that. We'll do... We'll make our repairs. 9,000. That's fine. Shadowhawk. Oh, okay. 54,000. That kind of sucks. That's the brunt of it, though. That's... Uh, we lost an arm there. And in 23,000. So the, the mission didn't really pay for repairs, but we did get a Jenner, which we're going to have a look at right now. Vindicator took zero damage, which is kind of crazy. Okay, first of all, strip equipment, then max out armor. So, wow. Okay, so we have five tons to work with. I don't think I'm going to be using the Jenner. I, I won't lie. Um, that's not a lot to work with. Um, IMO. Yo, when did we get an SRM 6++? When did we get that and why didn't I equip it as soon as possible? Um, 
So, I mean, we have two PPCs. We could make this a PPC unit, but the thing is, is check this out. Boom. Overweight already. <laughs> like, uh, like we could make this a medium, medium laser beast. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So yeah, four medium lasers. Um, no room for support guns, so this thing can't punch. Um, barely any room left for things like heat sinks. We're going to want to run heat sinks. Oh, we're out of heat sinks. I need to buy some more. Um, not a lot of jump room for like, there's no room for jump jets. What, what happens if we do max armor here? Yeah, we're already okay. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, but I don't know, but I don't know if the Jenner is, uh, is really all that hot stuff. I don't know, bud. Can we strip it? Hold on. Let's, um, strip it for parts. Zero days. Perfect. Confirm. And then, um, how much do we get? We would only get 300,000 for scrapping it. It's a light mech, I just realized. You know what? For a light mech, having four medium lasers is pretty impressive. It's fast. In theory, it's fast. I don't know what uh, initiative it gets put in. Um, it's got good movement. It's not very durable. We can we can increase that. Um, let me let me rethink this. It being a light unit um, definitely changes th things a little bit. We could put like one heat sink on this thing so here's the idea here's my idea um it doesn't we can't i'm, I'm gonna put zero jump jets on this thing we're, we're gonna run un, run under the assumption that we're not gonna jump in ever basically um oh wait yeah okay so maxi armor so here's here's the plan here's the play with the jenner it being light it kind of changes things a little bit um what we're gonna do is we're going to treat it like a light mech. Uh, we're not going to treat it like a mech that can actually, um, you know, like kill anything, but we're going to basically like have it poke its head, shoot something with four medium lasers and then run away. Um, and then I will try and put whoever has like the best initiative in that mech. Um, I think that that stands a chance question mark. Also, I meant to um, do some work on the Shadow Hawk. We're going to repair all. Where is that SRM 6? There it is. Go ahead and swap that out. Confirm. I don't know if there's anything else we need to do. That's just a that's just a straight up upgrade. Hopefully we don't lose that. Let's check out the store real quick. Do we have anything in the store? We've got some um, mech parts. Apparently I have a Banshee part. I don't know when I got a Banshee part. Wait, no, never mind. The store has a Banshee part. I have zero Banshee parts. This is Zakata. Two Zakata parts. We have zero. Hmm. Oh, Marauder. 75 tons, almost a million to buy uh, even one. Ooh, I like this little lad. Look at this little lad. He's got a little bubble top. All right, let's just take a, let's take another mission. What are we waiting for actually? Like in terms of like what, what what's our timeline? 21 days is, oh, 23 days is like the most we're gonna have to wait. We could do a mission without Decker. We don't necessarily have to wait for Decker. In fact, we don't have to necessarily wish, wait for the Shadow Hawk either. Now that we have a fifth mech, um, but I don't, 
hold out a lot of hope for doing a mission without some of our biggest players. We could do a mopping up. We're apparently on good terms with... Oh, this is the Arana restoration again. Uh, surviving units of a pilot, pirate lance escaped the battlefield. We believe they've managed to partially repair their mechs. And that means they're a loose end that the Arana restoration would like to see tied off. This is off world, which is fine. 18 days. We can stand to wait that. Or we could do clean out the mercs. This is two, two mission, uh, two skulls of difficulty though. Counter that lance by intercepting and destroying it. Well-regarded mercenary outfit to engage the Capellan Confederation. Uh, or contested will. This is only one and a half stars. Finally lost a large area of land on Kimi thanks to dubious legal maneuvering by Capellan agents. I think that was me, actually. This land includes an important ancestral military base. We need to, we need this base back from the Liao and held until this can be sorted out. Um, who are we losing? Oh, we're losing Capellan Confederation reputation. And we're not gaining any with the planetary government? What the heck is the point there, bud? Apparently the... It's weird, but we don't seem to ever gain ground with the, uh... Planetary government? I don't know what that is. Is that just like a neutral generic government? Like, what if we took this mission? We lose a lot of pirate rep. I mean, that's fine. Um, hmm. Restricted access. Contract is unavailable because your reputation with the faction or the mercenary review board is too low. We're not on good terms with the pirates. This is actually a really decent mission, though. And we don't lose any reputation with anyone else. Let's go for it. I'm going to go full parts again. Okay, so, um, oh, right. We need to wait a couple of days. I do kind of want to try the Jenner. It's a bit of a risk. Passing by the med bay, you spot Medusa wrestling a medical monitor from a med tech. You need to take a second look. Medusa presses a hand against the stomach and winces. His stomach and winces. I know something is wrong. I feel like I'm dying. You pause in the door. What is going on here? Medusa relinquishes the monitor and the med tech clears her throat. Medusa's complaints of abdominal, pa abdominal pain are purely neuro neurological. Phantom pain, Commander. There's nothing to treat. We've checked. Please, Commander. I'm not making this up. Medusa takes a deep breath. If you authorize an explore exploratory surgery or another examination, I know the med techs will find something. Um... Order the med techs to perform exploratory surgery on Medusa. Um, let's do a second medical examination. Medusa has gained the following tags dependable. I trust your judge judgment, Medusa. You turn your gaze to the med tech. Get him another examination. Nothing invasive unless it's warranted. Later in the day, you receive a report from the med techs. Their second examination of Medusa revealed a large cyst hidden behind his appendix. They had to operate immediately. You rush back to the med bay and visit him in recovery. The med medical equipment surrounding him blinks and beeps at a steady rate. How are you feeling? Carefully pats his abdomen. You should have seen this thing they took out of me. Nearly the size of a shotgun shell. There's no That's no way for a mercenary to go. I wonder if, uh, if I had like chosen wrong there, would they have just died? Or uh, do you think that it would have, like, the game would have cheated in some way and uh, it would have turned out to be nothing? Argo repaired power conduits. Temporarily hook up the automation systems. Temporarily hook up the refit harnesses. Okay. Uh, Yang arrives at the morning briefing in a foul mood. Commander, if one more pilot shows up to complain that their favorite mech isn't ready, I'm going to pitch someone out the airlock. Air, out the airlock. Darius intervenes. How about we draft some of them to actually help? It might be educational for them and useful for you. Dr. Murad has some deep, uh, has been in deep in thought. The Argo has very powerful systems that are currently offline. If we could get them working, even only temporarily, it might help with the current workload. 
Okay, let's temporarily hook up the automation systems. Plus two tech point, uh, two tech points boosted for 14 days. Yang is more excited about Dr. Mered's assistance than ba babysitting some reluctantly drafted mech jockeys. Later that week, Farah checks in with an update. These Star League era systems are amazing, but challenging. The automation system is partially online now, maybe for a couple of weeks. Checking some calculations on our ubiquitous data pad. She arches, uh, arcs an eyebrow. If we can spare the sea bills, I'd like to spend the time to make this improvement permanent. The work on the power conduits has all the prep we needed to do. I'm ready when you are. I do want to do that, but I am like a million is not a good place to be. We want to be higher than that. I'm going to continue building morale for now. Um, see that yellow uh, financial report? That's not good. But we could take that, do that mission now. Um, we're missing a Shadowhawk and Darius, uh, I believe. Or no, sorry, Decker. But let's do this mission. Not good um, pay, but good on salvage. Awful in pay, actually. So Glitch. Glitch has good tactics. Medusa. Medusa can go in the Centurion. Um, Glitch has actually been in a light mech before, so she's she's actually fairly well equipped for it. Why is her initiative so bad, actually? Isn't... Oh, wait, I guess four is better than... I, I keep thinking that a lower mission, initiative is actually better, but it's a higher initiative, I believe, that is better. Right? Maybe? Yeah, I, well, no matter what, she gets moved into the fourth. So, uh, I'm assuming f that that must be a better initiative. I have to assume that. <sighs> this is gonna, this is gonna be a little bit, I don't know, touch and go. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do a pause here so you don't have to wait through the, the, the loading screen. All right, begin the mission. Target is uh, the target is a facility located here. Move up and occupy it. Our target will board the occupying mech. You'll need to wait. Uh, keep her safe while you head to the extract point. Good hunting. Okay. Cover the VIP by securing the designated area. Gotcha. I gotcha. I'm uh, excited to see what this Jenner is capable of. It is quite fast. Honestly, I just love this design of mech. I kind of, I, I prefer it to the, like, I don't know how to put it, but like standard bipedal um, mech, you know, like these, I don't think I'm a huge fan of like the idea of, of mechs looking like people. Is that... Does that make sense? Like, you know, like we've got two legs, two arms, a head, a torso. Um, I get it. And, um, you know, like it, it, in certain contexts, it does look cool. But I think I prefer the idea of a mech looking like this, because to me, this is more like a, a, a um, an interesting compromise of like this thing is a vehicle with um, bipedal legs. I think bipedal legs for any kind of like giant mechanism like this doesn't really make a lot of sense it feels to me like that would just be the easiest thing like the easiest um structural weak point you, you could imagine like just like just punch it in the legs you know like what happened what if it you know like there's there's got to be a better method of transportation than big legs that are are just like oh what is that oh that's a centurion I wouldn't mind having a second Centurion. Waiting on you, Commander. Now, I'm not sure if we're in line of sight of that thing, so I'm actually going to back up a little bit, maybe. I could generate even more evasion. Well, I mean, we could get in line of sight of it. Um, take the brunt of all of those attacks. Get into our mission zone. 
I'm just seeing the limits of what I can do here. Uh, you know, this is, this is not a bad thing for the scout to do. And then also puts them all in line of sight. So that uh, other mechs can sh start shooting at them. Wonder what I can do with a standard move. We can actually get quite far. Let's go over there. Actually, can we do like that? Yeah, that's actually better. I think we're still technically in the in the zone, and I think I'd like to do um, a brace. Gain guarded damage reduction and entrenched. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if that removes some of our evasion. I think it does actually. It looks like it did remove some of our evasion. You got nothing, you hear me? So what do we got? A Warhammer? I don't think I've ever seen a Warhammer before. I copy. Okay, so what can we hit on the Centurion that makes sense? Let's have a look. Okay, it's mostly lasers. Um, oh, and it's got our, an LRM-10. That actually makes my job a lot easier. Let's go ahead and hit it on that left torso. Maybe we can get a, a lucky crit. Aye, aye. Some good contact. Okay, that's a terrible spot for uh, the Centurion. This is better. Much better. Some good good point good contact I, that was that was excellent um could do a jump i like this yeah that's good we don't have enough for another precision shot unfortunately that uh, left torso is looking really juicy um shucks okay well we'll just hope we get lucky hit hit pilot injured that's not bad I'm a little bit worried about that Warhammer. Okay, um, fortunately, the, the evasion paid off on that Jenner and the damage reduction. But they did take some damage. I'm wondering if I should reserve. No, there's just too much, like, heading our way. I, I think I should just sprint away. I think I think this is the right play. We're just in too like way too much over there. It's just way too much for like one little scout to be in. Ready for orders. Want to continue hitting that Centurion? This is a good place to do that. Affirmative. And we have a good line of sight. We have a good shot. We've got a nice target. Precision shot. Come on. Yes. The LRM ammo exploded. Did some good damage. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth trying to take advantage of those spores. Medium laser crit. Knockdown. Good. Oh, Jesus, that Warhammer looks massive. That's what I mean by, like, by large. That's a large mech right there. Can't hit the... Cannot hit the, uh... Okay, what if I move here? Slows all units moving through them. Units standing in spore fields suffer an additional 20% damage when hit due to the spore's corrosive effects. But plus four difficulty to hit units passing through spore clouds. Or I could move here. I'm generating a bit of heat by doing this. I can't hit that. I cannot hit that dude on the ground. Is it dead? Yo, is it dead? It said knockdown, but is it actually dead though? I don't think so, right? 
Got the target on comms, Commander. She's heading out to you now. It might be dead. I thought it was just knocked over. Um, so that thing is in spores, I believe. It looks like it's in spores, but either way, we are... No, it's just got high evasion. That's what's up. So we need to start hitting this Warhammer. Oh, we're going to overheat. Shoot. Let's turn off one of these medium lasers that have a worse chance of hitting it. Hit it. Good hit on that left leg. If we could uh, hit it some more, we might be able to knock it over. Oh, thank God. we. He mi oh, my God. How many guns does that thing have? We have the asset, huh? Commander? I'm gonna reserve glitch, see what happens. Affirmative. The asset is taking damage, Commander. Oh, I see. The asset's on my mech. That's not good. So I'm going to reserve glitch until the end here, and then we're going to do the scout thing. Do we have, um, don't really have good stuff going on. I honestly feel like with, I should have grabbed, if I could have grabbed the asset with the Jenner, this would have been the perfect mission for her. Okay, I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have my unit like jump away and face towards them and uh, that's only to uh, Get the armor bonus they have, we have a broken line of sight, but hopefully that means we have a broken line of sight to them as well We're gonna brace We're just gonna focus on trying to you know Get away there. I Really want to kill this warhammer though. That's like crucially important for this mission to be worth it to me our heat is not looking good. It, uh, could I do a jump to that? Yes, we can do a jump to this. We won't be able to hit it with the supports, but I'll be able to shoot it without generating heat. That's the good part. Um, kind of want to try and hit that leg. Structure exposed. Uh, Centurion is not in a good place here because I think they're a little bit too close. Yeah, this is true. Coordinates received. It's a shame that, uh, we didn't generate any inst uh, instability. Okay, so it's just glitch. So I'm going to reserve her. I'm hoping that whatever is on that last turn there moves before her. Yes. Ah, hit with the PPC. We're not exposed yet, so that's okay. Commander? I wish we had support, like, support lasers on the, um, on the scout. It's fine. Wow, 40%, huh? 70%. 70% is better. It really, really feels feeble if you ask me. But I, apparently we generated morale. Wow. What do you mean he gets to go first? So now we have glitch. Glitch, I'm going to have glitch come over here and punch this thing. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to have her move over here and shoot it from behind. Do we really need to do a precision shot for this? I'd rather cons reserve the uh, precision shot for the Warhammer. This is, I mean, we're, we're going to hit it from behind. It, you know, we don't really need to do a precision shot. Nice. Critical hit. Ready for order. Can we hit... The Warhammer? We can. We can even do a precision shot. Can't tell. I think. Oh no, we have broken line of sight. Not good. Uh. 
Bummer. Okay, we're gonna have her jump forward and hit this thing, and then we'll no. she'll be able to hit it with everything. I don't understand why. I guess we're hitting it on the left, on on its right side, so that's why. Okay. Um, what do we have here? Ammo. Okay, let's hit it in the torso. Confirmed. Small laser crit. Critical that's hit. good. That is good. Okay, I'm um, gonna continue jumping away. And since we are in the water now, we can we can shoot something. May as well try and take out this commando. I was hoping for more, but that's fine. Since the commando has a better chance of hitting my uh, blackjack, I'm just going to go for that right now. Left arm destroyed, unstable. The Warhammer is doing something. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, Vindicator still hasn't taken internal damage, which is great. Commander? Yeah, I mean, Jenner can just continue slamming it from behind. Nice. Done. Pilot incapacitated. Mech destroyed. We could do a sprint. Sprint is actually not as good as doing a jump, so let's just continue jumping away. We've got a great like little pool here to, to continue jumping. Um, we'll do a brace. We even get to Order. get our heat back. So what's the deal with... What's the deal with Warhammers? Why... Is this Warhammer not dead yet? Um, yeah. Do a precision strike. This Vindicator is honestly going to take it out. Ooh. <sighs> Tempting to just go for the right torso. We should just go for the right torso. Overheat warning. Um, anything we can do about that? If we take off one support laser, it will mean we're not in the overheat threshold. Roger. Yes. We broke off quite a lot. We can do another precision strike. What can we hit here that would matter? Oh, that torso. Well, we only have a 9% chance on the torso. Ah, it's fine. We'll hit it either way. There we go. Done. Oh my god, it super exploded. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and can collect you from where you are now. Nice. Hoping that we get Warhammer parts. Come on. Say it again. <laughs> we only broke off the arm. So I believe that will mean we'll get, we'll actually get quite a lot of parts. Hidden objective kill um, for oh, for e Okay, so we got some extra payment. We didn't take too much damage. The blackjack took a little bit of damage, but actually, the we'll actually pay for this one. We oh, yo, Warhammer part, and we get three Centurion parts. It's a good day. It's a really good day. It's a fantastic day. We're gonna get a bunch of other stuff as well, but we just built a Centurion from one mission. That's a 50 ton mech right there. We can actually upgrade our squad with that. I love the Centurion. I do. It's, it's, it's actually one of my favorite mechs just because um, I love it as just like a long range catapult. We can actually do some pretty fun stuff. If we have like the Jenner running around as a scout, scouting out units uh, and then having the Centurion hitting them from, from long range, we could uh, we could do some really cool stuff like that. Um, having two Centurions is actually really cool. Might have to buy some guns to keep that, uh, to, to, like, equip it properly. But, you know, long-range missiles can fire. All right, so we'll do, I'll do a quick pause here, um, so you don't have to wait. Oh, mate, never mind. 
the owl variant of the centurion tends to trade the larger burst damage of an auto cannon for more energy weaponry and heavier armor owls can take an incredible amount of damage for their size but still pack a good punch we're gonna need to do some mech repairs i know i know i know a couple people out of action but that's okay we're gonna want to take a mission for money uh the good news is that everyone's gonna be back in action before the next financial support uh report sorry so that's good we can level up people hopefully big simple's got 5,000 xp so definitely will want some more tactics i'm sorry that i'm gonna keep doubling down like that um the behemoth is close to getting this master tech master tactician that's what i want mechs piloted by this mech warrior gain plus one initiative and remove one bar of stability damage from reserving um decker can upgrade their tactician as well glitch can also gets the master tactician that's actually perfect for her if she stays in the jenner that means that her uh that mech is going to have a ridiculously good initiative commander um medusa is still kind of fresh to the game so isn't really getting doesn't really have everything they need yet let's uh refit the centurion also, I'm going to compare it to my other Centurion. I feel like it's bigger. No, it's, it's it's a different model. This one prefers lasers over missiles, huh? That's kind of a bummer. But, okay, it's not a bummer. I'll tell you why it's not a bummer. You know what I haven't done yet? What Something I've been wanting to do. I'm going to go ahead and strip this. We're going to max it out. And we're going to put two PPCs on this thing. One PPC there, one PPC there. So we can put two PPCs on this thing comfortably. Um, and then we can also put a medium laser on this thing. Uh, do we want to though? I would kind of prefer having a large laser on there. I know that's kind of insane. Mm, yeah, it's getting a bit too much. Let's just put a medium laser on there. It sucks because the medium laser doesn't really synergize with the PPC. The medium laser has a optimal range. Minimum zero, optimal 180. PPC has a minimum of 90, optimal 360. So that means um, our optimal range becomes 180 to 270. Yeah, so like, it, it kind of sucks. Minimum range is 90. That means that we can attack. We can attack close range, but the PPCs like to be lo long range, if they can be. They're kind of like long range, um, you know, like the LRMs. But this is fine. We can also put a small laser on this thing, but I don't think I want to. And the reason I don't want to is I really want to leave some room for some heat sinks. like a lot of heat sinks and no jump jets i think this is good this thing can have a lot of support lasers i just realized i really want to try the ppc thing because i i've been wanting to do that this just seems like it could be a lot of fun the alternative um there is an alternative how many la large lasers do we have only two because the, the alternative is we could do four large lasers. How, how big are these? Five tons versus seven tons. So we could conceivably have four large lasers. That's actually kind of legit. The PPCs keep getting shelved. And I don't want to shelve them. Um, the large laser is 18 heat. PPC is... 35 heat okay yeah maybe we shouldn't do this one ppc let's try a large laser there a large laser there um then we're overweight but it does kind of synergize better we do max armor this thing takes a little bit of an armor like it sucks a little bit i won't lie I kind of just, uh, the PPCs, 
they I want them to be good like they are good they are really good what is this thing extended range large laser and we don't really want that I want a normal large laser um back to the cost 150 grand kind of sucks but I'm gonna buy it new weapon systems available now I mean you can probably tell where I'm going with this three large lasers starts to look pretty good we almost have full armor and I think maybe when I get another large laser we could slap it on here we could put a medium laser on for now though actually let's put the medium laser on the arm and then the large laser on the torso and that way most of our firepower is on our torso and we don't have to worry too much about our arm but yeah like we could roll wow actually we took a quite a large armor hit with that one medium laser if we take that off what happens hmm one one ton one ton actually buys you quite a lot of armor so let's roll with this three large lasers is nothing to scoff at nothing to scoff at at all um shadow hawk is being repaired we do have a unit so all we have to do is wait we could wait minimum 18 days um in order to take our next mission and i think our next mission should be a money mission because we're running out of money uh we do have a seven hundred thousand here that's not bad I, I would like better but that's not bad um that's the i mean alternatively we could take this contested will that's a uh, easier mission for roughly the same amount of money which isn't bad we do lose some capellan uh confederation um reputation but that's okay i'm i'm willing to to bite the bullet on that what's our what's our lowest okay we we take a hundred and thirty thousand cut if we take some more salvage so let's just go with this this will be our next mission um and this will be the end of the episode if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And like, you know what? Throw throw a comment. If you if you if you actually like the series, try it. Please support it. Um, it's it's not a huge ask. Let me know if there's things you'd like to see me improve on. Uh, let me know if there's different missions you'd like me to try or different methods. I'd, I'd appreciate hearing from you. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.